Hello and welcome to ATV News. I'm Charity Pepezani with your top stories this Tuesday evening. Prime Minister Morgan Tsongarai and his estranged wife, Ms. Lakadia Karimatenga Tembo, have agreed to settle their 15,000 US dollar maintenance case out of court. Ms. Lakadia has apparently asked for a monthly allowance, but it has not been confirmed whether the Prime Minister will settle this amount. Zambian President Michael Sata has been representing his country as a Christian nation in Japan. A prominent Japanese Catholic priest praised the President's public faith and love for God, stating that it has made Japanese Catholics very proud. President Sata attended Mass at Kitawan Catholic Church in Sapporo, together with ministers given Lubanda, Sylvia Masembo and Emmanuel Chanda. The priest, Ken Slayman, said the President Sata was the first president to attend Mass at the cathedral since it started 10 years ago. He said, May God bless you, Mr. President and First Lady Christine Kasemba Sata, as we endeavor to bring joy, peace, prosperity, and health to all the peoples in beautiful Zambia. Our prayers are with you both. The celebrated Malawian writer and scholar Lexen Kaira has died in London at the age of 72. He was famously exiled by dictator Kamuzibanda at the age of 17. Kaira was working as a professor of political science at the University of Cambridge when he died. His literary works include The Civil Servant, The Detainee and The Looming Shadow. Many of his books irritated Kamuzibanda and caused him to ban the writer. Kaira's novel I Will Try made it to the New York bestseller list and stayed for 16 weeks. He leaves behind four children and seven grandchildren. In Zimbabwe, a pregnant woman from Gweru was the center of attention in a court hearing after beating up her husband, who is a police officer. 23-year-old High Life Kajenda appeared before a magistrate, where she was facing two accounts of assault on her ex-husband, Mr. Wanda Gandalalala. Kajanda, who pleaded guilty to their accounts, received a suspended sentence for five months with good behavior. Now, gospel music has always been a big part of Zimbabwean culture, and for many artists it is a priority to spread the culture across the world. One artist hoping to reach an international market is Lori Tavazai, who has a concert coming up in Manchester. Yesterday, in a Skype call from Zimbabwe, Lloyd told me he was excited about coming to see his fans here in the UK. So, you know you're coming to Manchester in December. Are you, are you looking forward to coming to Manchester? Yeah, I am very, very, very excited. Yeah, I can't wait to be in Manchester. I can't wait to meet my fans and give them my best. Yeah praising God through music and dance, yeah. How would you describe your music? Um, I can say my music is South African, so I can sing anything traditional, Bapanga, but with a South African feel in it, because I was inspired by Lun Tiamara. And that's my genre type of music. How important is it for you to reach um, so many fans around the world with your music? It's very important to me to reach uh, my fans around the world. And it makes me happy. To me, it, uh, it shows that I'm growing. It shows I'm going somewhere. It shows my music is going far. People are receiving my music, are enjoying, are liking my music. And I'm very happy. So happy. Thank you very much for your time, Lloyd. That, that would be now for today. But um, hopefully we'll see you when you come here in December. Good evening, I'm Michael Mambo, here with tonight's sports news. Zimbabwe football captain Ezra Myandoro thinks that his team, which lost 2-0 to Angola on Sunday, therefore failed to qualify for next year's Africa Cup of Nations, lacked the required experience to match up to their opponents. 
The warriors returned to Zimbabwe to reflect on their disappointment and the captain said that the fact that many Zim players had not faced this kind of situation before did not help in the match, whereas Angola had many players with big game experience. One team that is heading to South Africa is Zambia and they have play, been placed in the top seeds for the tournament. This is great news for the Chipolo Polo as they will avoid fellow seeds like Ivory Coast, Ghana and Horse South Africa. They could face some tricky sides too from, from Tunisia, Angola, Nigeria, Mali who were very impressive in their qualifying campaign. Sticking with Zambia, six boxers in various weight categories have been selected to the national boxing team as preparations for the Zone 6 game intensify. The boxers were picked in last weekend's Interprovisional National Championship held at Roadside Bar in Kitwe. Under-20 boxing trainer Kennedy Kanyata has sent a passionate appeal to the National Sports Council of Zambia and the government to immediately release funds for the campaign of boxers who said needed a lot of exposure at the international stage. Heading to Malawi now and Azam Tigers head coach Leon Pulula has launched an attack on Malawian referees accusing them of incompetency and favoritism. Pulula has also claimed that there was no good players in the country and that the national side will continue to fail on the big stage. The comments came after the Tigers were beaten 2-0 by Bullets FC in the opening match of TNM Super League at the Balaka Stadium on Monday. And that's all for tonight's sports. Back to you, Charity. Today's Photo of the Day award goes to this great picture of Reginald Fupa. He says he's just chilling. Send us your pictures to our ATV Facebook page. Thanks for joining us and have a pleasant evening.